The group is planning to reinstate a cable car line in Dunedin, and it's one step closer to recreating history. The Dunedin Heritage Light Rail Trust is working on the $15 million plan, which would see the Mornington cable car line up and down High Street re-established after more than 60 years. This week, the Trust filed a resource consent application for the first stage of the project, which will see a temporary cable car museum built to house three restored cable cars. The Trust spokesperson met our reporter Ian Telfer at Mornington Park and told him it's an exciting first step. Well, I can actually see it going down into, into a high street, and boy, will it be a tourist attraction. There's no doubting that. So it'll be a working, is it a recreation, is it a, a, for tourism, or is it a real thing? Well, it'll be an identical to what it used to be back in 1957. It's running down exactly the same line as where it was before. Where, where we're standing underneath here would have been the tracks if they'd left them there. So we're standing on the tracks of the old route and it's going down exactly the same as the old route used to be. It's going to wind up at the same place in, uh, in the exchange where the old route was and coming back up again. So it's going to be just like the old route, but it's now in the 2020. And is it like a tram or different? It's, well, the difference between a tram and a cable car is there's no motors in a cable car. It's all controlled by a rope underground and you hook onto it, take yourself down to where you want to go, unhook where you want to stop, and then hook back on again, and away you go. Yeah. And this is pretty rare around the world? It's the only one outside of San Francisco. So the San Francisco's famous one, yeah. and there's nothing else? Nothing else. We, we were the second, when it was built in 1883, we were the second one after San Francisco anyway. And we were the only ones in, in the world then that had what they called a pull curve, which took cable cars around corners. San Francisco never did. They had to go up to a corner, T intersection, put another cable car going the other way. And the designer of that was a Dunedin man. But this was all ripped out 60 years ago. Why do you want to recreate it? Uh, well, it's, I just see it something as a real touristy type of thing. And I thought it would be some fun to ride on. I was born in Christchurch, so I've never seen the cable car until three years ago. And I've been on this group for 10 years. And it's just, I can just see it being a real great thing. And it can be a bus route, of course, as well. But very expensive project, like we're talking about $15 million? Yeah, if it's that fast, it doesn't make, there's not much money at all. Talk $182 million for the uh, stadium. Is it doable? Absolutely. Absolutely. The people I've been talking to uh, that will probably come in nearer the thing will be talking into their hundreds of thousands of dollar donations. But they won't come in at this stage, though. Yeah, but for now, you're starting small. Yep. Well, we, what we're trying to do, we're trying to take it off paper and put it onto tracks. So everything we've been showing so far up until now has been all paperwork. What we can do now with these cable cars, we can actually push them down and say, that's what we're talking about, because they can actually see them, they can touch them where they couldn't before. So it makes it real for people once you get what this temporary building. Yep, that's exactly what we're aiming for this, this, at this point. Wow. And that's stage one, and then what happens? Well, then stage one is linked with stage two, which means that when we raise the funds, the stage one is going to try and create the funds for stage two, and then stage two will take over the site where we are now as a two-storey building. Cable car house completely in there, which all the cable cars will be in, all the machinery, all the staff will be working down underneath. Up top will be a cafe, a museum, um, you name it, it'll be up there. And that'll be the base for the, the, the for new the cable, whole car. cable car? Yeah, because the other one we can't use anymore because it's now turned into something else. And from there, what? Just the tracks? Well, it's all downhill, isn't it, from there, down to the bottom. And then it's going to be a tourist attraction that they won't even believe how much property, uh, how good it's going to be, really. Neville, some people think this is just a pipe dream, eh? Are you, are you confident? Well, it could be, yeah, it could be considered a pipe dream, but no, I've got four people on my trust, and uh, two of them, one of them lived here on High Street, so he knows all about cable cars. <clears throat> the other one, his father used to be a conductor on here, and he's also about cable cars. The third man is the man who's restoring all our cable cars. So they're not pipe dreams for them. So, and I'm just the chairperson on the, or the spokesperson on that. Well, if all goes well, how far is this away? This building here, hopefully, if we get the uh, planning consent in the next 10 or so days, which is the 20 day period, then we will be starting on the very next day. Neville Jemmett talking to Ian Telfer at Mornington Park. Uh, go Neville, go Dunedin, what a beautiful day it looked like down there.